In this video, we're going to look at the popular third-party add-on Stacks for Rapid Weaver 8. If you haven't got Stacks installed or you don't know what it is yet, head over to rapidweavercommunity.com and search for Stacks in the search bar here. Stacks adds a new page type to Rapid Weaver that gives you a powerful, multi-column, flexible layout tool. So to get started with Stacks, you'll need to either purchase a copy, which you can do so here, or you can download a free trial. Or if you want to get more information, you can head over to the yourhead.com website and you'll see here they have more information about all the features and some screenshots and so on. And again, you can download a free trial here or you can purchase a copy. Once you've got Stacks installed, let's go over to Rapid Uber 8 and create a new project. Then we'll want to add a new Stacks page. And that will be added to our pages list in the same way that any other page type is. We can double click and rename this as home. And then the first key point to note here is that we have a Stacks library on the left hand side and a Stacks editing area here. And the way Stacks works is that you add these little widgets which are also known as Stacks into the Stacks editing area. So Stacks comes with some default Stacks in the library. So as you can see here, there's some basic ones such as text and markdown. There's also layout ones such as one or two columns and you have some other content uh, stacks as well. So to get started with stacks, let's go ahead and add a three column stack into the editing area. And there you can see we then get a three column layout here where we can add other stacks inside of there. So if we wanted a text stack in the middle, we could do so like this. If we wanted markdown on the left and HTML on the right, we could do so like that. So if we go and preview and see how this looks and we scroll down, you can see we've got that three column layout in the main content area for this theme. And that's a key point to note. The content or the stacks that you add in the editing area here get added to the main content area for that theme. So we still get the rest of the theme design as normal and we can switch themes at any time. So let's go ahead and choose the mountains theme. And there we can see we still get that uh, header and the title and slogan and everything else. But the content that we add is added into the main content area for the theme. So it works in exactly the same way as all the other page types in this regard. However, as you can see, we get a much more flexible tool to do multi-column layouts. OK, so why don't we just go ahead and build up a bit more of a page just so you get an idea of how Stacks works and the sort of power that you can have once you've got this installed. So I'm going to add a one column layout above and I'm going to add a header. So we can actually search for stacks. So let's go and search for heading or is it title maybe? Oh no, there we go, header. So we can drop that in. If we click on the I button here, that will open up the page inspector and the stacks settings tab. Here you get additional editing features or additional options for each individual stack. So for example here we can set the size to be H1. And we can double click and edit the text. So we say welcome to stacks. Like so. Then if we go back to preview. There you can see that that's been added there. Okay, so let's go back to edit and have a look at a couple of the other stacks and some of the options. So here, for example, we've got markdown. If we double click and edit that, you'll see that the text is actually in markdown. So if you like using the markdown plugin, this is a really great stack because as I say, you can just enter the markdown and it will render that to HTML for you. The text stack is just plain text or it's actually styled text, sorry. So if we double click, we can highlight some text and use the styling controls down here. So make it bold and italic, for example. And then the HTML stack gives you a raw HTML editor. So you can enter any type of HTML into here and it will be rendered onto the page. So again, we go back to preview. You can see we've styled that text. Okay, that's just an example. Let's actually do something more useful. So we'll delete that. We'll pop in a two column stack I'm going to add a header into each one, 
like so. And we can duplicate these stacks by clicking on Alt and dragging that stack into the other column, like so. Below each one of those, let's add some text. Pop that in, like so. And then we'll add an image below each one as well. OK, so if you want to add images to the page, you can see we can just drop an image in here. So why don't we go ahead and open up the Unsplash integration in RapidWeaver 8. And we could either search for an image or why don't we just scroll through here and use perhaps this one. And let's have a look for another image. Um, this one here will do. So drop those in. There you can see they get added to the page. If we go and preview that, there you can see we get our two column layout with the unsplash images below. And as you can notice, the text here is a little bit tight with the image. So let's have a look at fixing that. So what we can do is select the text stack and then we can go to the layout options here and we can set a margin on the bottom to be perhaps 20 pixels. We can do the same here like so. Now if we go to preview, there we can see we've got a bit more space. Now you might be wondering what this large area on the right hand side is. Now that is the sidebar content. So as I say, Stacks works in the same way as any other plugin. You get access to all the same features. So if we wanted to add some sidebar content, we could add a title here and we could just copy over some text like so. And then what we need to do for this theme is actually add in a site logo. So if I open up the source list again, go to the general settings, the site logo here gets placed at the top of the sidebar. So why don't we go to Unsplash again and search for a portrait. And let's have a look. We will just use this guy here drop him in, close that out, and there we go, there we can see my site logo gets added there. So as you can see, you're starting to build up a page here, but the main content area gets that flexible stacks layout, but it still works with all of the theme options. So as I say, if I wanted to change the styling of this theme slightly, maybe I want the main content area to be all the way across, so 12 columns wide. You can see we get that here. And then the uh, sidebar gets placed below there. So you still have all of the flexibility of RapidWeaver and you can still build your pages in the same way as you always have done. But as I say, you get the power and the flexibility of adding a multi-column layout in this example to the stacks page. So now, before we finish up this video, I want to mention that there are a whole host of third party stacks that you can install into your stacks library. So I've got a few of them installed here. I think I've got Foundry Potion and I've got the main Foundry stack. So if we hop over to Safari and if we go to all of the add ons and you click on stacks here, these are all of the available stacks that you can install. For stacks. So as I say, I've got Foundry installed, there's Total CMS, that is a fully featured CMS system for RapidWeaver, so you can edit all of your content online, there's advanced galleries, there's RSS, pretty much you name it, there is a stack that can do it. And if you just go ahead and click on any of these, you'll get more information, you can watch preview videos, you can purchase and download copies of them as well. Okay, but let's go back to Rapid Weaver there. Now, I just wanted to mention that because in some follow-up videos that we're going to do, I'll show you some of the stacks that you can use to create online editable sites, e-commerce sites, advanced galleries, and much more. As I said, you name it, there's pretty much a stack that can do it. But that'll do it for this video. That's just a quick introduction into using stacks inside of Rapid Weaver 8. Stacks is a really, really great add-on and one, Stacks is absolutely the most popular add-on for RapidWeaver. I would recommend that you go ahead and download the free trial and give it a spin. And definitely subscribe below and check out the follow-up videos that will be coming in the following days and weeks.